Hi, I'm Chef Carl, food whisperer, and welcome to my home. Today we're going to make easy, elegant beef stroganoff over buttered noodles. I'd like to thank everybody that's out there working so we can all make it through this pandemic. I want to thank the military, and if you have a chance, please subscribe and hit the bell. Uh, let you know when more videos are coming out. We've got 36 videos out there now. So I'll be right back and enjoy the video. Chef Carl, Food Whisperer, taking the mystery out of cooking. Hi, we're back. And what we're going to do today is make easy, elegant beef stroganoff. And what I got here is some pieces of beef tenderloin. I, I took all the silver skin off. I'm just going to slice some up. They look like little medallions. And then what you want to do, cut it into strips best as possible. Okay. And now we're going to put it in the saute pan. So what we're going to do is we're heating up the pan and I got real butter, don't use margarine or as in the old days, oleo and oleo and oleo and we're going to get that to so sizzling. We're going to brown the piece of the tenderloin in batches. I've already got some I cooked already and you can make this the night before and refrigerate it and then bring it back if you're short on time and you can also take some of the beef and, and after it's cool and bag it up because you really only need like two or three ounces, about three or four ounces of raw meat for every person. All right, the butter is sizzling. I don't know if you can see it kind of foaming and steam coming up. So the beef tips. We got the uh, beef tenderloin strips in the pan now. I want to just brown that. And like I said, you can brown it a little bit at a time and, uh, and, and make just as much as you want to have. I'm going to put a little pepper, black pepper, a little bit of salt, and this is my rub that I make. It's basically paprika, chili powder, cumin, granulated garlic, salt, sugar, and a couple other secret ingredients. But this will make it kind of brown up a little bit. And I don't wear gloves because I break out, but I have the sanitizer, sanitizer, and, and dishwater there, soapy water. So this is getting nice and brown. Mushrooms earlier to save time. We're going to get this cranking while I'm waiting for that. I'm going to show you how I slice the mushroom. Take one little slice off first so you have a flat surface. And don't soak the mushrooms in water, just rinse them or wipe them off with a towel. And I reduced some uh, lemon juice on to keep it nice. So I'm going to just add these two. And remember, cut the onions with the grain. About a quarter inch dice like this. Now, what we have uh, so far is the, the meat cooked, the onions and the mushrooms, a little seasoning. I'm going to add uh, some sherry 
to the pan and deglaze the pan because I cooked some of the meat in there. They took it out and I got the onions and mushrooms in there. So we're going to try to flambe it and deglaze de in the pan just means getting all the goodies up on the bottom. And you can hear it starting to sizzle now. Okay. I'm just going to add a little bit of sherry wine, or you can add white sauterne or any kind of white wine. It just depends what you like. I've always cooked with sherry. Sherry, where are you? Okay, sorry. Got a little fire going. <laughs> You want to burn off all the alcohol, but otherwise it'll taste harsh. Harsh, harsh, harsh. Then I do set. In the meantime, I'm going to heat up my buttered noodle just so everything is nice and everything is loving each other. It's already cooked. But this gets all the good stuff up. I got this kind of cranking, doing a little love dance here. Everything's good, everything's great. And then we're going to add the brown gravy. And this gravy, by the way, you can make it uh, by adding beef stock, butter, and a roux. But this, I said I was going to make it easy. This gravy has um, first gradient water, then beef, and then beef stock. So it's truly, I've used it a lot. This is from Gordon's, but find any kind of brown, not brown gravy, beef gravy. And uh, you'll save a lot of time and you don't have to worry about it separating. Okay. after it all simmers together, you have what, what people call beef tips. And you can have it over rice or noodles or a pastry shell. And I'll let it all just mingle and get happy. Get happy. Okay. This is telling me, holy snipies, that's hot. Starting to look really pretty, 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 pretty. Alright, now this is pretty warm. So at this point, we're taking it from beef tips to uh, beef straw. Whoop, it's all over the place. Add a couple of, uh, a cup, cup and a half sour cream. And use real sour cream. Don't use phony bologna stuff. If you're gonna, if you're gonna eat, eat good. Man, this is smelling pokey, dokey, smoky. Mm, I think I'm gonna add a little more sour cream because it's a little dark. Now, if you add, if you want to make Russian stroganoff. You don't put very, very little beef gravy because the Russian stroganoff is almost white. And then they serve it top with the little uh, potato sticks. All right, we're going to call it a day. So, Ward, we're almost there. Looking good. And I'd like to say I could share this with you at home. 
but it's I can't. So what? Now I can eat this whole pan. And I made some extra mushrooms for Ward's wife because she she loves the mushrooms. So do I. But Ward, mm. we got some nice color going on. About two more minutes. A minute. Look at that. Look at that. Man, it doesn't get any better than that. So now, put some nice buttered noodles, a little parsley there. Look at that. And that's nice. And this, my friends, is beef stroganoff. Delicious, I tell you right now, it is great. And this is Chef Carl saying thank you for being with us. Stay healthy, be good, be kind. And also don't forget to check out my buddy Mike's Everyday BBQ. He got me my start. Peace out.